Hi, I'm PJ Matavish and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So today we're doing another conic sections question and this is from the 2012 paper you saw there in the previous image. So as always let's read through the question first. So the convention centre shown in the image on the right is a landmark building in Dublin. Its stunning design includes a glass front in the form of a right cylinder which intersects the vertical front face of the building. So figure B1 shows the elevation end view of part of the structure. It consists of a portion of a right cylinder uh, with its axis inclined to 60 degrees to the horizontal plane, as shown in the end view. The cylinder intersects the vertical front face of the building, producing elliptical curves as shown in the elevation. So part A, draw the given view, in, or yeah, draw the given view, include the straight line elements on the surface of the cylinder as shown. B, project a given elevation shown all construction lines clearly and use the given elements to establish points on the curves. And C, locate the two focal points of the semi-elliptical curve ABC and determine the center of curvature for point B. Okay, so first things first, it said draw the, uh, draw the given in view is part A, so we'll do that first and obviously keep it over to the left hand side and everything should be there for you to draw it in, all the details. If there's measurements left out, then you'll find how to draw true construction lines. Okay, and the scale, one is to 100, so keeping it over to the left hand side. This end view should be straightforward enough, so we'll draw the outline of it, we'll put in those elements in different colours, and we'll draw it in strong, okay? And we'll fast forward to that section. Okay, so that's your end view done. So it's mostly from those few measurements of the base and the construction lines. And there are straight line elements on the curve to give us points as it cuts through the main part of the building there. So that was the part A done. So draw a given end view, include the straight line elements in the surface as end of the show. So okay, so that's the end view done. That's part A done. Let's move on to B. So B is project the given elevation showing all construction lines clearly. And it also says a bracket, use the given elements to establish points on the curve. So first things first, project all your points over to the left hand side and use your scale to bring down those measurements and put in the widths for the elevation. Okay, so there are the main points done. Now we'll just label in what we have here. So we have points A and C already because that's our third point. So this is point C here and we have point A here. Now it's time for point B. So B is along our height here, as you can see there from your um, from your question, and it is dead center between that uh, 12 meters. Okay, dead center between B and C. So you can half B and C, or sorry, half AC and find point B. Okay, so what we have here is a right cylinder tilted. I see there 60 degrees, and the base of it here, that surface there, you'll see that has an ellipse, and the ellipse is going from A to B back down to C. Now we have the minor radius and the major axis, so we can go about, draw that in with concentric circles or the trammel method, whichever one you remember best, I prefer the concentric circles, so I'm going to draw on those, the minor major circle, uh, divide up 30 60 and find my points, so I might fast forward through this. So as you can see there, concentric circles method is giving us a range of points on the ellipse from A to B to C. So just join those in freehand lightly and looking at the drawing, we can draw that in strong just so it stands out from the rest of the drawing. Okay, so that's one part of our elevation done. Next step is now is to use those pink or purple lines, whatever it's showing up there in the camera, uh, those straight line sections to find points on the elliptical surface here where our cylinder cuts through that flat face. Okay, so what we're going to do is project these lines over to the elevation. So you can see here, that's basically point B there. And then you can say this is, you can say this is A and C here. So 
So where are straight lines here, where they cut the ellipse, that line here, this is the edge view of your elliptical surface here, ABC. Where are these points cut that surface, they're giving you a height for where they are here on the ellipse. Also then we, when we project them straight up, because they're, and you see there in the elevation, they're straight sections of the one straight along the center, so they're one straight up here in the elevation. You get heights from here, project them across. And to do the curve, you'll see there, point B is extended up, extend up point B here, this would be say point B1 at the top, connect, uh, connect it back to here, that way it gives you a full curve and you know exactly where it's cut in the top. Okay, so project over these points now. And you can either do both sides and find the heights or you can do one side and project them over doing axis symmetry, but it might be easier to do them all on both sides all at once, okay? So let's bring over the heights as well we're at. We already have one height there. We have second height here. And this is our third height. What we're doing is our straight line. So we say we'll take this one first on both sides. This is where it hits the ellipse. Draw that straight up to where it stops. That's a point on our elliptical curved surface. Same on the other side. Follow it across until it hits the ellipse here. Draw it straight up till it hits our line coming across from the top of it. And that's a point. So. This is where it cuts the ellipse. This is where it's been projected across. So at the top of that line there is a point. Same thing with this one. There's a point here and here. So we'll continue on to the other two. So with this one hits the ellipse, draw it straight up to that height there. Where this last one hits the ellipse, draw it up. It's very close. There, draw it up until it hits the top line. Now they're all joining back from A up along here and C up along and they're going to reach that basically point B again up here we call it B1. So that is the cut surface there going through the flat section so let's draw it in freehand lightly and then you can draw it in strong then the portion that's seen strong. Okay so that's that section done. Now to finish off the elevation it's a right cylinder, so this surface down here will be similar to that surface up here, so they're going to be the same. So what we need to do is project that ellipse up to the top here. So I'm just going to do one side here and then translate it over to the right hand side. So project up points A and this point here on the curve and our second point was here. Has been translated up so the distance, or the height here of the cylinder from B to B1. That distance, let me see it here now better. So that distance needs to be translated from your point here and here and A. Alright, so that's one point, that's another, and that was where point A was. So this point A is, or A1 is important because to be accurate we need to connect all the points through the line back down to A. So draw that freehand lightly. And that's showing you the portion of the curve and where it cuts the line. Just project your three points over to the right, mark them, mark them in as well, draw them freehand lightly and then go over it strong. Okay, and that is the elevation and end view done. So that's parts A and B finished. So part C is locate the two semi, uh, locate the two focal points on the semi elliptical curve ABC and determine the center of curvature of point B. So first things first, find the focal sphere or focal points on an ellipse. You get the major axis. Sorry, the major radius. So half the major axis on your compass. Put the pin at the minor circle, top of the minor circle here, in this case point B, and cut the center line there. So that's for both of them. So there are the two, F1, F2, it's the same either side. And lastly, the curvature of point, of point B. So to find the curvature of point B, first thing we need to do is we need to extend down that straight line from it. So the center point for B is going to be 
directly blow it here on the center line somewhere. I don't have enough room there now. Then to find another center line, what we need to do is join B to one of our focal points. In this case, F1. And now we need to draw a line from F1 that is perpendicular to this line. And that will be another center line. So where that goes through our initial center line here, that will be the center of curvature for point B. So extend down that line perpendicular to the line you drew from B to F1. And where they meet that original center line, that will give you the center of curvature. Okay, so that's the question done now. So there was our end view, our elevation, our ellipse, ellipses, and then the point of curvature, or center of curvature. So as always, hope that helped. And again, if there's any requests, any questions you want to see done, just leave me a comment on one of the videos. And we'll see you in the next one.